Hi guys, I got a two by six here. It's about 22 inches long, cost me $1.47. I'm gonna show you how to turn it into a product similar to one selling on Etsy for $56 and doing it in about 10 minutes. Let's get to work. The first thing to do is to sand both sides down smooth. I'm using 220 grit paper here. Next, head over to the miter saw and adjust the blade to 30 degrees. With the board on edge, cut off one end. Flip the board over, then measure over seven inches, make a mark, line up the blade to that mark, and set a stop block in place. Slide the board over to the stop block and make the second cut. Repeat until you have three pieces, flipping after every cut. Now it's time for assembly. I'm clamping down a board to give me some stability. Simply line up the boards with each other, alternating the angles. Hey guys, real quick, I wanted to let you know if you like these low cost, high profit project videos like this one, turning a $1.47 item into $56. I put all those videos into a playlist. I'll put a card up above. You can check that out, really easy to get to. Now let's get back to this video. The end of one board butts up to the side of the next. Once you have the orientation set, glue and brad nail the pieces together. After the glue has dried, do some touch-up sanding, and you're finished. I know, $56 for this? That just seems crazy, and it's not even stained. I'll be honest, I didn't even know these were a thing, but go to Etsy and search for wood book holder, and you'll find a lot of variations of these. As of the recording of this video, this particular one has sold 324 times over the last 36 months, and has brought in $336 in the past month alone. Just because you may think you wouldn't buy it doesn't mean there aren't people out there who would. So if you've been thinking of maybe selling some small items, maybe this is the one to consider. Now, personally, I would probably stain this, add a tray for some sunglasses or a phone, but come up with your own design and you never know. Hope this inspires you. Catch you on the next video.